Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Star Trek The Next Generation Birth of the Federation. For quite some time, people have been asking me to do another one of these. Configure game parameters. So we're going to use all of the same parameters we used before. Medium-sized galaxy, spiral, m many races. Select galactic power to control. Uh, the last time we did the United Fed... Uh, one of the times we did the United Federation of Planets, another we did the Romulan Star Empire. We got really lucky as the Romulans. We, because you're a part of the journey! And for a while, people have been asking me to do the Fringy Alliance. And I don't mean like sex across it. Oh, those are sexy lobes. <laughs> nope. So we're going to play as the Fringy Alliance. And I have my rules of acquisition right here. Hopefully I'll remember to do some as we go on. I found them online, so I apologize if one or two are wrong. So please, if you're an uber nerd, don't be like, No, in episode 35 of The Next Generation, Lubnut said it this way. <laughs> And then some nerds gonna be like, Lubnuts isn't a Star Trek character. Not yet! Not unless my fanfic um, play gets written about him and Captain Kurt going and hanging around. Captain Kurt, did I really just say that? I don't own all the original episodes and I've not seen them multiple times. I have. Isn't it James T. Kurt of the Flenterplies? Uh, I love Kurt. Alright, so my Fringy voice. Fringy Alliance! <laughs> Rule of Acquisition 45 Expand or Die! And under that sort of general theme, we're going to be the Ferengi Alliance. We must expand or die. The Ferengi Alliance. Rule of acquisition number 58. There is no substitute for success. It does not matter how success is achieved. Superior numbers are just as effective as superior technology. When all is said and done, any victory is better than any defeat. You can see this is our sphere of influence. The red line is where our long-range ships can go. Yellow is medium. Green is short range. Um, we're not going to have a lot of any of those. Obviously, here's our home world, Ferenginar. You can see all the islands are... Or all the islands. All the planets are ready to be lived on. We have 230 population out of 310. We're going to build a franchise office, or attempt to. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not. I'm going to put some points into research. Let's see, let's find the franchise office so I can show you it. Franchise office. There are literally thousands of items for which the Fringy hold exclusive license, from action figures to synth ale. They all have one thing in common. Anyone who wants to use them has to pay for the privilege. The franchise office turns Fringy ingenuity into profit. And profit is what we care about with Fringy. And that's the big thing about the Fringy is um, they're good at making money. It's easier for them to have trade routes. They can trade with anybody they're not at war with. That's a big advantage. Uh, some of the downsides is they can't build a military academy. Um, yeah, it's one of the bigger downsides. All in all, they're they're a fun race to play, mostly because they're so eccentric. Oh, let's turn on our subspace scanner so we can see what's going on. So right here is a neighbor. And here's something else. So we're going to put our explorer up there. Seems kind of empty in this area. And put the colony ship right there and see what we can find. An alien culture has been found. The Vulcans don't have any emotions at all. They'll be tough customers. I want them as a customer. That seems like a good idea. Let's see, what do we got here? Bunch of little stuff. Don't want to put our colony ship out too late. I mean, I might colonize this if there's no other choice. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put one of our trade routes on with the Vulcans. And then we're going to send a peace envoy to them. Asking them for friendship and offering to bribe them. You know? <laughs> That's what we do, right? We're Fringy? Realm of acquisition, acquisition 121. Everything is for sale. Even friendship. So That's what we're going to do. See if we can buy the Vulcans off. So, um, wait. I think that takes a turn to hear that, doesn't it? I believe so. So let's see, what, what's this planet? Ooh, we're gonna go right here. Look at that big M-class planet. Fuck yeah. I'm surprised we've not run into anyone else. We want to uh, start running into other races, minor races preferably. There's news from our diplomatic corps. Friggy rejected a friendship proposal. Hmm. I really want them to be my friends though. We'll the system the will be colonized. 
They are like... Oh, I should have read that. Was it an event? We see no need to make any changes in our present relationship. What if I offer you... Ah. Oh, okay, we need more money. More credits. This system is now an official member of the Ferengi Alliance. More gold press latinum. Man, we're not running into anybody out here. That is surprising. So we're going to have these guys build some machining guilds. Just so we can build stuff there like factories. I don't know who that is. Should I worry? I'm worried. We're the Fringy. We're not exactly warriors. An alien culture oh. has been found. Greetings from the Klingon Empire. We are a race of warriors. And if you do not wish us to prove it to you, we advise you to stay out of our way. That could be very bad for us because we have no military. Even their starting ships are better than ours. Uh, rule of Acquisition 192, never cheat a Klingon, unless you are sure you can get away with it. An alien culture has been found. Ooh. The Temerians have a strange language, but they have plenty of Latinum. Was Surely we can make some kind of a deal. Was it Tamar De and Jalad at Tanagra? I got the names wrong. Something about Tanagra. All right, so they're the Tamarians. We're going to open up a trade route with them. We're going to ask them for friendship. I don't know, maybe I should save my money. I'm going to save my money temporarily because I want to get that big franchise office built. That might be a big mistake taking a risk on that, though. If the Klingons attack us, we'll be screwed. Because it's going to take us a while. It's 2200 bucks that we'd have to pay for if we wanted to buy it now. And we are we only have like two grand, so we're like 20 grand away from it. An alien culture has been found. The Caldonians enjoy research for its own sake. They are not much use economically. Research is good, though. We could definitely use more research. Oh, there's somebody down there, too. I'm just going to keep exploring the galaxy, looking for new customers and new um, economic opportunities. An alien culture has been found. The Nausicans are big, strong, and mean. And even worse, they're practically broke. <laughs> this is not the best start. There's news from our diplomatic corps. The Tamarans rejected a friendship proposal from the Ferengi. They did not want to be our friends. An alien culture has been found. Great. Greetings from the Romulan Star Empire. While we do not object to occasional diplomacy and commerce, we prefer to mind our own affairs. These guys if don't you honor this desire. We will remain amicable neighbors. Sorry about that. I mean, to interrupt what he was saying. These guys do not look like trustworthy dudes. Mostly because I know Star Trek. Rule of acquisition number 99. Trust is the biggest liability of all! <laughs> I'm sorry if that's annoying. I'm going to keep doing that in the whole LP. It's just too much fun. So, um... Do we know where these guys are? Klingons are obviously somewhere up there. How do I look at the events? Oh. Uh, if you are not familiar with the game too, this is the kind of gives you a brief overview of how you're doing. These are the Romulans, Klingons, Federation, Cardassian. If they have a circle around them or an emblem around them, that means you've made contact. A gray one means you have no formal relationship with them. Green is friend, red is at war. Right here's our dilithium. That's how many ships we can work on each turn. So right now we can work on one ship per turn. Um, how much longer till we can buy this? We're getting closer in the franchise office. So we get that, though. We need some warships to protect us from Klingons. Nothing? Man, there are no good customers around here. Well, very few. Very few. With the franchise office, though, then we can start trading with the Nausicans and the Caldonians, too. And then hopefully try to bribe some people. The Romulans signed a non-aggression treaty with the Federation. That's weird. An alien culture has been found. The Benzites are very efficient workers. They would be an asset to the Ferengi economy. All right. Yeah, we definitely could use these guys. Oh, that's Romulan space. So we're the Benzites. We're going to offer them a friendship deal. Man. Really don't like... There's Klingon space. That is not good. The Federation signed a friendship treaty with the Romulans. There's news from our diplomatic corps. All right, let's see the diplomatic core. The arrangement is simple. This is from the Romulans. Stay out of our space and we'll stay out of yours. Perhaps this will mark the beginning of a more positive um, 
Association. I should probably go for it. It's it's a non-aggression proposal. We're not aggressive people. And after all, rule of acquisition 35, peace is good for business. We will Treaty accept. will be accepted. Look at all these planets. Hopefully some good customers. That's what we need. How much closer are we on the franchise office? Ooh, two more turns maybe we can build it? That would be nice. An alien culture has been found. The Antidians won't leave their home system. Antidians. <laughs> we can monopolize their export industry. Look at him, he's like singing you a song. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> Sorry. The Fringer said it not aggressive to you. There's Robert. news from our diplomatic corps. The Fringer withdrew a friendship proposal to the Benzites? The Benzites accepted a... What? That was weird. Okay, I don't know who that is. But we'll go north and then we'll come straight down. We can see Romulus and Heracus. Can we build our franchise office now? Nope. One more turn. So are we friends or not with the Benzites? What the hell? They were friends with us and then not friends? I bet you they got conquered by somebody. But they're not within our scan range, so we can't tell. Did I turn on my subspace scanner? I did. The reason I say that is I can't propose anything to them. They must have got conquered. Damn it! That's not good for us. There's news from our diplomatic corps. Romulus made a statement to us. Your expansion has nearly reached our borders. Be careful lest you reach exceed your grasp. We haven't even expanded! You can't trust Romulans. They're the one expanding. Alright, let's build our franchise office. Purchase order confirmed. Then let's build three light raiders. And a troop transport. Um, move our research up a little bit more. I think we can get away with that. We definitely want to start using our trade routes to make a bunch of the minor races like us. So we should have it up. Yeah, I got it up. Alright. So, oh, I didn't realize that gives us one morale too. That'll make our people happier if you look at systems. They're content! So let's see, who can we trade with? Okay, we're going to trade with, even though they're kind of bad news, we're going to trade with the Romulans, because that's a lot of money. We're going to trade with uh, the Keldonians, the Nausicans, the Benzites, even if they are captured, whatever, money is money. Latinum is Latinum! Oh, I forgot the Tidians out there. And the Antidians. So we got all these trade rats going. I might pull the one off of Romulus and put it on someone else. Is that a Vulcan ship? And then when I have some money, we're going to start bribing these races. Eridians! We're going to run out of their space because we're, we're Ferengi. We're not warriors. Okay. <laughs> nice try. I love that response. I love the Ferengi in this game. No sign of enemy vessels! We're safe! An alien culture has been found. The Uridians sell information. A partnership would be very profitable. Alright, so we're gonna take... Um, let's take the one off of Benzar and put it on Uridia. I don't think we have enough money to um, bribe them. Let's see if they will be our friends for free. If not, once we get a bunch of money... We're going to start uh, asking people to be our friends. Because once, they, once they're in a friendship treaty with us, then the more we trade with them, the more they'll like us. The Romulans declare war against the Benzites. I thought somebody else had already taken them over. What the hell? I can't imagine the... Oh, I know how to see. Benzites. No, they're affiliated with the Federation. Interesting. Man, the Federation moves fast. They're our biggest enemy when it comes to getting minor races because of how fast the Federation can move with money stuff. So let's offer these guys a... No, wait. I want to wait till we have two grand so we can offer... Uh, There's news from our diplomatic corps. The Benzites terminated the friendship treaty with the Ferengi. I thought they already had. The Iridians accepted a friendship treaty. Yeah! 
And the Benzites terminated their affiliation treaty with the Federation. Because the Romulans conquered them. That's not good. You know this isn't good? Fringy, or er, Klingon scout on the edge of our empire. Well, eventually we need another... Oh, I'd like to uh, colonize some of these An worlds. alien culture has been found. The Sally will buy almost anything. As long as they can use it against the Anticans. The Romulans declared war against the Bandai. Dang, man, those Romulans are busy fighting people. How are we going to compete with that? We've got to grow peacefully. Don't be warships. That's bad. And assault transport? Oh, God. That's not good. <laughs> are you serious? They're sending an assault transport my way? Screw Purchase it. Buy the Slight confirmed. Raider. Oh, man. I hope the Klingons are just building an outpost. Even that's bad, because that means they're growing our way. Balls, balls, balls. They are. They're building an outpost. You know what? We're going to have to try and scare them off. We can't have them building an outpost right next to Ferenginar. And while we're at it, we need to make some friends like fast. Okay, the Euridians have a friendship, a treaty with us. Vulcans, we're going to offer you two grand for friendship. Tamarans, we're going to offer you 1600 for friendship. We're going to go in debt on this. Sile, we don't have enough for you. Oh, fuck it, we can offer it. They probably won't take it. We're going to be really in debt if these people all pick up. Uh, except most of them won't. Caledonians... Tedians. Man, there's a lot of races that just don't care for us. Yeah, actually, Explorer, why don't you go this way? There's a wormhole right here. We're not going to put our ship in it, though, because it might go nowhere and it might die, which I don't want to have happen. This is for Ringy Space! Yes, sir! No problem! Hmm, Whoa. one less competitor. Oh god, I hope they're not too mad that we blew up the ship. I was just trying to scare them away. All in a day's work. The Romulans declared war against the Atidians. No, Romulans! Holy fuck, the Romulans are growing fast. Conquering all their neighbors. I'd like to imagine the Fringy commander was like, Fire on him! Fire a warning shot! <laughs> they fired all the, what, I forget, what do they have, uh, plasma torpedoes or photon torpedoes <laughs> into the uh, uh, Klingon transport, and it just blew up, and we're like, oh, shit. <laughs> that was one hell of a warning shot. There's news from our diplomatic corps. All right, so everybody rejected our friendship thing except for the Vulcans. Nope, don't want to be my friend. The Tamaras don't want to be my friend. Nausicaa don't want to be my friends. Vulcans agreed to be my friend. Good. The Sile don't. Who else? I thought one of them liked us. Oh, the Benzites. Well, they got took, taken over. The Uridians, I think, are at war with the Romulans. What do we do? Do we go try and defend them? Oh, our ships don't even reach that far. <laughs> Oh, we better get the hell out of Klingon space. Klingons are not going to like that. They're probably not even going to be happy that we blew up one of their ships, to be honest. This is not good. Alright, Explorer, come down here. Are all our economic things being used? All our trade routes? Yep. That's not good. We need these little guys to trade with. That's the whole Ferengi philosophy is we make friends, we trade with them, get them to love us, and then have them join the Ferengi alliance. Because we're not warriors. We're not great colonists. We're traders. That's what we do. Klingons declare war against the Betazoids. Oh man, if we could find the Betazoids, we might be able to get them to like us. Come on, Vulcans, keep building that up. We need somebody to join us. Uh, 
Oh, they're trying to build another outpost out here. Get off my back! Acknowledged. No problem. Suck it. Hmm, one less competitor. That is the great Ferengi hero. All in a day's work! Krobnar. Is that a Ferengi name? I don't even know that it is. Good job, Grobnar! Grobnar the Destroyer! <laughs> he is the hero to Friggy children everywhere! He protects us and keeps us safe from the encroaching Klingon advancement. This is not good. Everybody is... We have two territories. The home planet and a colony place. The Klingons have five planets. The Romulans have seven. Oh no, not good. Really not good. Really, really, really not good. I don't I don't know what we're going to do. It certainly is not the way I wanted to start. Um who are we good friends with? The Iridians seem to still be around. We're trading with them. I thought they were at war with the uh, Romulans. No, the Antidians I was thinking about. Okay, that's less important. I mean, it is important there. Oh, it looks like they're being bombarded, I bet you. Come on, hold off, Antidians. Hold the Romulans off. Ooh, who's down here? I wonder if that's the Cardassians. It'd be the Cardassians or the Federation, but I think the Federation are over here. Because they made a peace treaty with the Romulans. Alright, sweet. We got two ships. We got Grobnar's ship. And then we got this other guy. We definitely need more of these. And then a troop transport. And then if we can, a colony ship would be nice. It would be nice the system that we colonized. If we could uh, get things built faster there. Should build another grower's market. Machining thing. Wind turbines. Oh no! These ships are too big! Run away! <laughs> Understood! Bye! <laughs> That's a brave first. This is our first contact crew! Hey! Gotta go! <laughs> no sign of enemy vessels! We're safe! An alien culture has been found. The Akamarians have warp technology. So they must have something of value. Alright, Akamarians, let's see if I can offer you a peace treaty. How's it going? Let's see how our friends the Romulans, or Vulcans are doing. Romulans aren't our friends. Oh look, the Vulcans are getting more and more receptive because we became friends. All this trade with them is paying off. We really need to save up a bunch of money and then offer, you know, more of these people friendship deals. A series of earthquakes has destroyed, devastated Frankenar. 15 structures were destroyed in the catastrophe. 31 people were killed. Are you kidding me? It looks okay. Do we have a lot of structures we didn't need? That's not a good thing. Damn it. What the balls? What the bally bally balls. All right, let's offer a bunch of these dweebs who aren't our friends friendship deals. Okay, Uridians are friends. Vulcans are friends. Tamarans. We're going to offer you a bunch of money to be our friend. Sile. Bunch of money. Nausikins. That might not be enough money. We're going to bribe these people. Gold press Latinum equals friendship. You can buy a friend. Benzites, you are conquered. Antedians, screw you. Akamarians, I think we already offered you a deal. Screw it. Yeah, because they have ships. Yeah, they have ships. That would be good for us. They can fight for us. 